हेलो फ्रेंड्स राधे कला वी कुमार यर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल सी व्हाट आर एस इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका सो एस सी डी इज स्लो चेंजिंग डायमेंशन सो स्लो चेंजिंग डायमेंशन मीन्स वेर दिस डायमेंशन टेबल कीप्स चेंजिंग वेरी स्लोली दैट इज द डायमेंशन टेबल विल स्लोली चेंज नॉट लाइक इट डजेंट इट डज नॉट चेंज ऑन रेगुलर रेगुलर बेसिस और सम टाइम स्केड्यूल्ड बेसिस ओके इट चेंजेस वेरी स्लोली फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी से कंट्री नेम और एल्ज कस्टमर नेम और एल्ज प्रोडक्ट नेम सो यू कैन से दिस यू नो इन कंट्री नेम और एल्ज कस्टमर नेम ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल नॉट चेंज ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस सो these kind of uh, you know changes are said, said as like slow change, uh, changing dimension so these kind of data are stored in these dimensions so there are many types of uh, scds like uh, scd type 1 type 2 type 3 and all so in this tutorial we'll see what are scd type 1 and uh, how it works and we'll see how we can uh, create an scd type 1 in informatica okay so scd type 1 is nothing but it will just uh, store uh, the latest or else the current uh, data in the dimension table that is it doesn't have any history uh, in it so whenever we are bringing up some data and uh, we are updating the records the previous the historical data will be like you know vanish like it will be clean and it will be overwritten that's what for example we have a customer id 100 and his name is uh, something like john and uh, again now we want to uh, you know uh, insert an um, and his name is changed the john name is changed to something like alan so you want to change this uh, john into alan so whenever you bring this record automatically when you are using this slow changing dimension in type 1 this john will be overwritten that's the it will be overwritten with this name alan so whenever we are creating some reports we will be able to get only the latest data and not the uh, whenever we want to know like what was uh, the previous name of alan we won't be able to you know get that uh, information so this is what is about scd1 scd1 will store only the latest or the current data okay so now let us go to informatica and see how we can create this scd1 so here i have a mapping called uh, customer scd so what i'm what i have done here is we'll just uh, expand this so i have a um, customer uh, stage customer source so for the same the source qualifier is uh, created so what happens here is i am my uh, target is uh, dim underscore customer so i am comparing first before uh, inserting or updating the record um, first i am comparing the source customer id with my dim customer id that's why i have used here a lookup so you can see this i have taken this customer id you can see this uh, pipeline it's going the output is going to the uh, customer id here and um, i have taken a look up of this uh, target dim customer okay so first i'm compare i mean just uh, seeing uh, you can see the condition in this look up that uh, customer id that the source customer id with this cust id 1 that is this this customer id the target first i am seeing whether this is equal to this one the customer id if that is equal to this customer id is equal to the target customer id and th then i'll just do the update if this customer id is not equal to this customer that means if it is null then it means the there is no record in the target at that time i'll insert it so hope you people have understood what i'm trying to say i'm just uh, using a lookup tra uh, transformation i am just seeing whether this customer id is equal to the target customer id if these two are equal then i'll just update the record if this is not equal to this that means 
the customer id will be null right so if it is null then i'm just inserting it for after doing this um, comparison with this lookup table i'm using an update strategy here update uh, transformation and i'm giving um, so i'm just uh, you know bringing this uh, you can see here i'm bringing this uh, customer id to this uh, update strategy you can see here the lookup i changed the name to um, lkp underscore cust so here i'm changing i have changed that and uh, in the properties you can see that i have put a condition in update strategy expression under this properties what i've done is i'm just checking whether this uh, you know uh, if this lkp that is i'm taking this customer id from the lookup uh, transformation i'm i'm checking whether it is null is this column null if it is null then i'm saying dd underscore insert if this is not null then dd underscore update hope uh, you people understood this um, how this works so i'm just checking whether this um, you know the lookup table customer id is null if it is null then i'm inserting it because we are inserting a new record as the record is not all present and it's a new record if this is not null then i'm just updating it that's what this scd type 1 uh, uh, type 1 this mapping does so after this i'm just uh, mapping everything after the comparison and all i'm just mapping i mean i'm just uh, you know giving the input to this um, target so you can uh, do this the same thing and uh, once um, this done then uh, automatically you can create a workflow for this and run and um, just i want to show how this scd type 1 will work so hope you people have understood if there are any queries then please let me know and uh, the next tutorial will take up the scd type 2 and hope you have enjoyed and uh, thank you very much for watching the tutorial